Hey, what's going on guys? It's Joe Young coming at you another video for the week and this week we are outside in the garage trying to make some progress. So right now I am actually using one of these. I actually ordered these a long time ago. These are breeding boxes um, and what we're, we're going to do, oops, one second here. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually um, put a pair of clownfish in here and put it into one of these racks here. So there's two salt water that I have temporarily set outside until the actual system inside is actually set up. So right now, this one here, and there's a sump down here that's plumbed together. And what I need to do is move the clownfish from the bottom and just kind of either throw them up here or here for now uh, until I can actually swap sumps. Now the reason why I'm swapping sumps is because this sump needs to be the one that goes inside for the fresh water and I have an extra one that sits right here. They're different brands, so the plumbing is slightly different. Um, I had already pre-bought some stuff for this specific uh, sump. Uh, so we'll need to kind of do a swap a -roo and we'll go from there. I should probably be reading the instructions, but we're gonna kind of wing it, so we'll see what happens. First off, looking at this here, it actually looks like it's very big, um, very nice. Normally the ones that I get is about like this size here. This has another extra compartment, actually these are removable as well. Um, and it looks like we can get, kind of get like uh, flow from one end to the other kind of output here, so it looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just open this up and kind of just set it on top here for now. Got a bunch of stuff here that we need to kind of go through. Uh, instructions is probably very good right now. And it looks like there's really complicated stuff going on up in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a peek at the instructions real quick to make sure I have everything set up correctly. All right, so I have everything hooked up here um, and it looks like it works. It just basically just shoots out um, water as it pulls up from the air bubbles here. It looks pretty cool. Actually, you kind of get pretty good flow here. So, all right, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna actually fill this up because I need to actually empty the sump and I'll show you in a second here. And here's the sump down here. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna actually grab those clownfish, put them in here temporarily, let that run and um, anything else that's gonna be in here will sit in there as well. Uh, we'll put them in there, we'll let them kind of chill for a little bit and then I will swap sumps um, real quick. And then uh, we'll go from there. So I wait for you, wait for me, wait for you, wait for me. Tell me you're more than just a highlight. Pretty pictures on the outside. I hate to stare at you through these lights. So I wait for you, wait for me, wait for you, wait for me. Click and scroll, I can't let you go. All right, so here's the sump, all emptied, somewhat clean. Uh, I'm not too worried about it being like super clean because I'm just refill it and just get reused as the filter anyway, so it's gonna be dirty either way. Um, so there it is. So let's go ahead and put in the new one and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So here's the new sump that's actually gonna be sitting in place here. So right now, I'm probably not gonna plumb it just because there's no point. Um, eventually, you know, the reef tank is going to be torn down anyways, you know, in, in several weeks. So there's no point in me like filling this up you know cleaning it out and then like undoing it because the sump is actually going to be used for fresh water eventually i'm going to do um some other tanks in this rack here because it's an extra rack that i have so i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of leave the um tank as is for now so here's the clownfish they're happy they're swimming around they're kind of like investigating a little bit but while i'm at it here i'm going to show you guys um some new fish or some new clownfish that i got actually in this tank uh, they've been in quarantine for probably almost a little over two to three months. They've been eating fine. Um, and I was just making sure that, you know, they kind of got together uh, before I wanted to show you guys because sometimes the quarantine process can be actually pretty bad. And as you can see, actually, I'm sharing the same water with my, you know, OG clownfish. So I know that, you know, everything is actually good with these guys and that they've been sharing it for a while now. So I got some uh, Black Storm clownfish. I um, actually got a really good deal on these guys. Um, so I bought like actually a school of them here of six. So the plan here is on the 32 gallon long, it's gonna have all the anemones. 
I'm hoping that uh, a school of clownfish would host a bunch of the enemies. I think that would be pretty cool. Plus, I wanted these guys for the longest time, went ever since they kind of announced them. Um, I wasn't willing to pay, you know, 250 each or whatever, 300 at the time when they were coming out. Um, actually, these guys were um, 65 each, I think. Um, and you can't beat that price, to be honest, especially designer clownfish. That's the same price I started paying for the Lightning Maroon clownfish when actually prices started dropping. Uh, most places sell them for like about 100, 150 still, um, but got a really good deal, so couldn't pass it up. Actually, these guys came from the same, I guess, clutch or school, so they are, you know, kind of like feeling each other out, but you know, they're actually getting along really well. There's no, there's not a, any craziest signs of aggression. They're all the same size too, so um, I can't wait for them to actually grow up and uh, kind of see, you know, what kind of different patterns they have here. Moving inside to the actual house, as you can see, all the Ultimate Angels and Discus actually have finally been moved from this tank into the actual main display tank. Uh, there's only a couple fish in here left, uh, Plecos and some SAE. I'm actually going to move the Plecos into back into this tank once it actually cycles. But right now I'm going to probably move the SAE into the main tank so they can actually take care of the algae that I have in there. Alright, and here's the sump in the tank. Now I am missing a hose uh, that's going to connect to the sump there, to the overflow box, so I need to order that. So either way I can't really complete this. Uh, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to probably put the substrate in here so I can actually get the, the tank to actually start cycling again because we can go through a mini cycle. Uh, we know this uh, with the ADA soil, so I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, for now and then everything else I'll probably wait until I get the other parts in and then we'll start uh, working the plumbing. Uh, so normally I do not just dump substrate straight into the tank, but obviously there's nothing in here. I have all the time in the world. It's going to be super cloudy. Like this is the, the worst thing that you, anyone can do. Normally you're supposed to drain the tank, put the substrate in, and then go ahead and fill it back up. And that reduces the most cloudiness. But like I said, I don't really care right now just because I have all the time in the world in terms of recycling and letting the cloudiness kind of go away. So I'm just going to dump the substrate straight in. Look how cloudy it is now. Super cloudy. Worst idea, but like I said, I don't mind it. I'm okay. I'm waiting. I'm gonna go ahead and spread this across and see how much more substrate I need to add. I'm gonna be adding a brand new uh, bag of substrate um, on top of this. So this is like the old substrate. Do a nice thin layer of this first. All right, so I'm gonna finish adding in the substrate here. This tank's gonna cycle for probably about two weeks. The cloudiness is probably gonna be a couple of days before it goes away, to be honest. Um, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you guys are subscribed. Um, like always, until next time, guys, peace.